Hi there guys, welcome back to the Fan Channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a fan replacement on a Palette 2070. So let's go ahead and get the screws out and get this fan replaced. So what you're going to need is just simply a small screwdriver with a small bit and then all you're going to need to do is just go ahead and find the screws on each side and then these are going to be the ones that we're going to go ahead and de-screw so we can actually go ahead and use this brand new fan to go ahead and replace this now as you can see this is the original fan and that's the old fan it's not really spinning at all when mining it'll just stop uh, spinning so just to save any overheating issues or anything like that I'm going to get this fan replaced as quick as possible and thankfully it is very very easy and you can pretty much do this with just I think it's just the, the, the four outer screws on the outer case and then a couple screws from underneath and then all you need to do is actually unclip it from the microchip motherboard that's in there so this is the last screw of the outer shell so that's four screws in total, make sure you put them somewhere so you don't lose them. Now if we can actually go ahead and take a little look inside of this. So let's be gentle with this. Because it's actually clipped at the bottom down there, if you can see, and that's holding these two together. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to gently move this, just nice side to side wiggle, nothing too aggressive and there we have this separated now so because this is the fan that's broken we're going to need to follow this down and as you can see on this little board that's right here it's connected on this side here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just gently unconnect this bring that through take that from there and then all we need to do is just the three screws that are on holding the fan in, right? So let's just go ahead and get them screwed out. in that pot there so do not lose them okay so now we can remove the affecting fan the one that's not working anymore like i say i'm assuming the bearings have gone inside of this it is a little bit wobbly um, and this was something that i recently i mean i don't I wouldn't say recently but about six months ago uh, purchased a, a replacement fan for this because you know it did go ahead and break it in a prior in the past so what I'm going to do is I've got myself a little toothbrush and what I'm going to do I'm just going to brush all that dust off into a bin. Let's keep this as clean as we can because any time you get a chance to get inside your, your GPUs you should always try your best to do the best thing you can do because you never know when the next time you're going to go in there is. Okay, so that's had a nice little dust enough. Oh, I don't really want to get that on the desk. And we'll do the same to the other one really, really quickly. So there's nothing electrical or any chips on this or anything like that, so you can just do it pretty abrasive and get it done. Okay. So now we've got this looking a little bit more cleaner and the same for a little bit on the back. So if we go ahead now and we take ourselves, so this is the broken one, so let's put that on the side there, grab the brand new shiny one. As you can see, there's a clear difference in these two here. So if we go ahead, flip this back over, take a look at how this one over here is going. Ooh, noticing that there guys, Potentially one of the reasons why that I keep having the issues that I'm having is potentially because the 
It's actually broken there, actually, inside. That's a bit of a shame. So I'm going to have to think something to repair that. Maybe uh, if you guys have any ideas in the comments, maybe you know, drop that down below. But potentially I could use a little bit of super glue or something like that to you know, go ahead and you know, repair that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the screw back in just to still show the way that it would work on here. So if put this on there. Go ahead and get a screw, get that attached to the screwdriver, and if you can see, just getting that screw into the hole. Like I said, trying to be extremely careful now as well, considering that this does actually have a crack in the side plastics there. Now assuming going forward as well, like having an issue such as what I've got there, um, you know, I could expect that the fan potentially could be wobbling and then it's more than likely gonna have similar issues going forward in the future. So let's just gently get that through. And then let's get this run round over there. Now, from the looks of it, this cable isn't gonna work because this one's designed for this one. And potentially the only way that we could do that would be to solder this to that. So, might have to jump back and get this soldered onto there so we can actually get this done. So because the wire wasn't actually big enough to go ahead and fit in there because this was the, if I believe correctly, this was the right-sided fan. So what I've had to do is I've had to solder on a little bit of an extension wire using the older fan that broke and just extend that just a little bit further so that we can actually get this to nicely fit into the controller there and get this working just nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and get this connected in really quickly. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and screw this in. So this is in there nice and neat. So all that we need to do now is place this onto the GPU and if you can see there with me the holes there are line up so what you're going to want to do is you're going to make sure you get that whole line up but before we do that before I actually go ahead and do that I think the most important thing that we should probably do is go ahead and connect this back into the little controller board that I was just plugging the fan into so I'm just going to go ahead and slip that in okay so that's now connected close that down tilt that to its side and let's go ahead and get this screwed in so there shouldn't be any pressure or or anything like that you should be able to just nice and gently just screw this straight back in try not to over screw it like that so you don't wear down any of your screws or anything like that as we saw as well uh, there was a little bit of damage to the plastic of the, the fan bay so what I'm gonna have to do with that is I am gonna have to find some sort of alternative solution such as like super glue or anything like that if you guys do have any ideas I said before make sure you just throw that down in the comments let me know what you guys want to do in the situation where yours is broken like that okay and and also as well, I'm not really sure actually how that has gone ahead and broken like that, because obviously like I say, it's, this is a minor GPU, so it's normally sitting there pretty stable. It was on an ever so slight tilt um, in its current mining location, so potentially that angled, angled uh, tilt to it could have actually caused that situation. Okay, and then the last screw. for some weird reason, as always, is what I'm famous for. Oh, there we are, I found it. I thought I lost the screw. Uh, let's drop that one into there. Okay, so once that's all screwed in, 
this is all now nice and secure. So the fan that wasn't working for now spins brand spanking new just like the other one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this installed and then I'll give you guys just a little shot of it working for the intro or the outro of the video.